Hi guys, welcome back to Softy Here Deck. Today in this video, I am going to show you how you can create a custom header for a specific page in Elementor. I will also show you in this video how to import a template from your computer and also show you how Elementor Canvas layout works. So let's begin. First, I will go to Pages and I will and I will create a new page. For that, I will click on Add New. Here you have to add page title. I will add Weber, which is the same name that I am going to import template. Now I will publish the page. Now the page was successfully published. Now I will click on Edit with Elementor. Now you can see the Elementor editor was opened. Now here you can see I have this default my website header and footer. To remove them, go to here page settings. From page layout, select Elementor canvas. The canvas will remove header and footer and give you a clear canvas to design anything. Now here you can see I have this canvas like page which is completely empty. Now I will import a template from my computer. I will click on this folder icon. I will go to my templates. Now click on this import button and select file from your media library. Now I will select template from my computer. Now keep in mind that these files only in JSON are zip format. I will select this one weber.json and click on open. Now it was loading my template. Now my template was successfully imported. Now I will find my template from my templates library. Here is the Weber. I will click on insert. Now you can see our template was successfully imported. Now scroll down. We have these all sections in it. And here is footer of my page. Now I will go back to top. And now I will add a custom header. For this I will click on this plus button. Add a section. And I will select a section with 5 columns. Now I will drag this fiber icon into it. I will change it this section background color. Go to style. Here I will select background color. This one. Now I will increase this column size. And delete this column. Now I will add navigation menu in it. Go to your widgets and search nav menu. Here is the nav menu. Drag this icon here. Now here you have to select menus. I will select main nav. Now here you have different layout styles. You can make them horizontal, vertical and drop down. For the vertical, it will appear in list view. Now it will appear like that. And you can also make them drop down. Now it will appear like that. But for this one I will choose horizontal. Now here while breakdown you can choose hamburger for mobile and also hamburger for tablet. Now go to layout. Now go to style. Here you have typography settings. You can change typography settings. Here you can select a font. I will add a lot of size I will give it 20 pixels and for the weight I will make them 400 now I will go to color and make them white and when you hover over it this color will turn little bit white and for the active color I will make them green like when you click on it and there was active it will appear in this green color like that now I have added menus now you can see the menus and this logo or the header text was not in the same line 
for this I will add this column and in vertical alignment I will make them middle now it will appear in a in line now I will reduce size of the menus little bit go to typography and make it 15 pixels now here is the horizontal padding I will give it 13 pixels now I will go to last column and in it I will add a button by text I will add book now and now I will copy this button and paste the style in it now I will edit this button and reduce its size I will make it small from large to small now I will go to style here in padding I will give it 30 pixels to the left and right and 15 pixels to the top and bottom for radius I will give it 15 pixels of radius or make it 25 so it will appear much better now collapse this section and you can see it will appear like that now I will delete this inner section for this I will click on this cross button and this inner section will delete now collapse this section you can see this text and the menus still not in same line so I will go to this menus column and give it vertical alignment of middle now it was appear in same line now when you scroll down you can see the header was disappeared now for this I will open the editor go to this section and go to advanced now I will go to motion effects and here in this sticky I will make it to the top now collapse it and when you scroll down you can see the header was stick on the top update the page now to take a live preview click on this i button now scroll down you can see our header was working fine that's how you can create a custom header for a specific page in Elementor. Hope you learned something new in this tutorial. If so, please like, share and subscribe our channel and also press bell icon to get notifications about future updates. Thanks for watching.